Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and this video is all about organizing and managing the worksheets in your workbooks. First off, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch the last video. I hope you learned something new and your comments and suggestions are already helping to improve TabHound. In the last video I showed you how TabHound will change how you work with your Excel files. At the heart of TabHound is a search feature that allows you to find and jump to any worksheet very quickly. If you have workbooks that contain a lot of worksheets, then TabHound will save you a lot of time when navigating through your files. I also explained the flip back feature, which allows you to flip back and forth between two sheets in your workbook. It basically eliminates having to scroll through the tabs when working between two sheets. I also explained how to hide and unhide multiple sheets using TabHound. I showed how you can use the different filter features, like the tab color filter, to filter down the sheet list for a specific tab color and then hide or unhide multiple sheets at the same time. So today I'm going to demonstrate some more really cool features of TabHound that will help save you time with organizing the sheets in your workbooks. So now I'm going to show you some shortcuts for making a duplicate copy of a sheet. So let's say we want to just basically make a duplicate copy of this sheet right here. Typically what you might do is right click on the tab name and then go up here to move or copy and click this create a copy checkbox and then press OK and that'll make a duplicate copy of that sheet. Another little trick you can do in Excel is if you left click and hold on this sheet like you're going to move it over to the right and then hold down the control key on the keyboard that'll bring up that little plus symbol there in the icon and that's letting you know that you're going to make a copy of this sheet. So again I'm just holding down the control key on the keyboard while also holding down the left mouse button. And now when I release the left mouse button, that'll make a duplicate copy of this sheet. So again, basically you just click and hold on to it like you're going to drag it over to the right, press down the control key on the keyboard, and then let go of the left mouse button, and that'll make a duplicate copy of the sheet. So typically what we do after we make that duplicate copy is then rename the sheet. And TabHound has a process that'll do this all in one step. So if I go up here and open the TabHound window, you'll notice this copy and rename button right here. And basically if I just click on that, that'll bring up, that'll copy, make a duplicate copy of the sheet for us automatically and then bring up this window to prompt us to enter a new name. So I can now just enter a new name for this sheet. Press the enter key and that'll rename the sheet. So it's a very fast way to make a duplicate copy of the sheet and the keyboard shortcut for that one. So if I bring up the tab hound window with Alt-1, the keyboard shortcut to copy and rename is Alt-C. So Alt-1, Alt-C is now my keyboard shortcut to make a duplicate copy of the sheet and rename it at the same time. So it's a very fast way to, to do that process. And you can also use that feature to rename more than one sheet at a time. So let's say you're very disciplined and your workbooks typically only contain three worksheets, an input, calc, and output sheet for your financial models. So if I open the tab, so now I have this new workbook here and I'm going to open the tab hound window. And if I just select all these three sheets here and click the rename sheets button, that'll basically prompt me to rename each sheet. So now I can call this output, hit enter. The next one will be calc, hit enter, and then the final one will be input and click the enter key. So now you can see that all three of those sheets have been quickly renamed output, calc, and input in this new workbook. So if that's a process you do frequently. TabHound can make it a little faster by allowing you to rename all those sheets at one time. Another process I do frequently is copying a sheet to a new workbook. So typically what you do for that is right click on the sheet name and then go to move or copy then choose new book from this drop down list here then click the create a copy button and then click OK and that would take this sheet and copy it to a new workbook. So that's about a five step process there just to copy this sheet to a new workbook. So TabHound has a button that makes this a lot faster. I'm going to open the TabHound window and you'll notice this uh, button over here that says copy to new book. So basically if you just press that button that'll take the sheet you have selected and copy it to a new book. So now we have a new workbook with our sheet just copied into it. And that works with multiple sheets as well. So if you wanted to just select a bunch of sheets here in your workbook, 
you could do that in the tab hound window and then press the copy to new book button and that'll basically just copy all those sheets to a new book all in one step so it's a very fast way to copy sheets to a new workbook so tab hound has this great table of contents feature that allows you to basically create a table of contents add it to your workbook uh, with the click of a button so you see up here on the Excel Campus tab of the ribbon, there's a table of contents button. And clicking on that button will bring up this window. And it's a pretty simple tool. Basically, you can just click this Create Update Table of Contents button right here. And then you'll be asked if you're sure you want to continue. Say yes. And that'll quickly create this table of contents and add it to the front of your workbook. So now we have a list of all the worksheets in our workbook with clickable links to each of those sheets. So it's a great way if you're distributing this workbook uh, to, to an audience for them to basically navigate through your workbook and also see all the sheets in this workbook. And it also allows you to quickly update the table of contents when you make changes to your workbook. So let's say I just wanted to move the sales by category tab down here and maybe I want to make a duplicate copy of it, so I'll hit Alt-1, Alt-C, and may just quickly rename that to be uh, February, something like that. And so if I go back to my table of content sheet, you'll notice that now this is not reflecting what's actually in the workbook because I've added some sheets and made some changes to the names. So if I just go to the table of contents button again, just click on that button, and then just once again just click this create or update table of contents that's going to update the table of contents with the new changes so i'll click that button say yes and you can see very quickly the table of contents has been updated with all those changes i just made so now here's my uh, january sales sheet here and my february sales sheet down below it and i can click on it and that'll just take me right to that sheet so one other feature I like of Table of Contents is you'll notice there's some options here. And the last option is called Tab Colors. And I'm going to click that checkbox and then hit the Create button. Say Yes. And you'll notice my Table of Contents has been updated. And you can see here in Column B that I have uh, basically the tab colors listed right there for each of these sheets. So all these sheets are colored orange. These are blue tabs and green tabs. So if your sheets or the colors of your sheets represent a certain category, a certain report type, something like that, it's a very quick way that you can kind of organize and visualize your tabs in your table of contents. So TabHound has a friend named Tab Control that will basically allow you to organize and uh, manage the worksheets in your workbooks and also help you automate some of your processes. So let's see how Tab Control works. Up here in the Excel Campus tab of the ribbon, there's a tab control button. I'm just going to click on that button, and that'll bring up this window. And basically, it's a two-step process. So in this first step, I'm going to create the tab control list. I'm just going to click this button and show you what it does. So that's created a new worksheet in our workbook. And this worksheet contains a list of all the sheets in this workbook. So column A just has a list of all the sheets that are in this workbook. Column B has a duplicate list of those sheet names, and this is where we can make some edits to our sheet names and tab colors. And then column C just shows the visible state of each tab. So if this says true, that means the tab is visible. If it says false, then the tab is hidden. So we're basically going to make changes to this sheet list here in column B, and then run another update process to reflect those changes in the workbook. And the nice part about this is this sheet list is in an Excel worksheet. So we can use all of Excel's built-in functions and features to organize and update and make changes to this list. So for example, if I wanted to change the, these two sheets here, the tab colors are currently orange. If I wanted to change those to yellow, let's say, I could just go up to the Home tab on the ribbon, and I'll change the fill color of those cells to yellow. So I've just made that change. Now this hasn't been reflected in the workbook yet, not until we run an update process. I could also, let's say I also want to change some of these sheet names here. So instead of this saying product, maybe I wanted to say product sales. So I could use Excel's built-in find and replace feature to replace the word product with the word product sales. And then I'll just replace all those. So now my sheet or my tab names now say product sales instead of the word product. So you can see I'm just using some of Excel's built-in features here to make changes to this list. You could also uh, reorder it. Uh, so if we wanted to 
maybe sort this A to Z, we could do that. We could just change the sort order of all the sheets in our workbook. We could also sort it by color. So you can maybe sort by tab color instead if you wanted all the yellow sheets at the top. We could do something like that. So we make all kinds of different changes to the sheet list and it's very flexible in terms of what changes you can make. And then once you've made your changes, you basically just go back to the Excel Campus tab on the ribbon and click the Tab Control Update button. And that's just going to prompt us here to ask us if we want to run the update. We'll say yes. And then it very quickly runs that process. So now we can see all these changes have been made in our worksheet here. If I just go to the first tab over here in the, in the workbook, you can see that those tabs are now colored yellow. I can go back towards the back of the workbook and you can see our product sales um, sheets have been changed. The name was previously product and now it's been changed to product sales. So again, it's a, just a very fast and flexible way to make all kinds of changes to your worksheets and your workbooks. I just want to take a minute to answer a few questions from the last video. Dan had a great suggestion about being able to sort the sheet list in alphabetical order. And well, Dan, your wish is my command. Uh, I added a button up here that basically allows you to do this. So this is a toggle button. If I click on that, that'll sort the sheet list in alphabetical order here. So it's, it's actually in alphanumeric order. So we have the numbers at the top followed by the letters here. And the cool part about this is when you apply any filters to the list, uh, it's, the results still remain in alphabetical order. So for example, if I were to type a search here, I'll just put a J in the search box to filter this list for anything with a J in it. You can see the results are still in alphabetical order here. And same thing would happen if you were to uh, filter this for the hidden sheets. Let's see, these are still in alphabetical order. You could just toggle this off and that would put the hidden sheets in the order that they're currently in in the workbook. Toggle it back on, that'll give you alphabetical order. And same with the, the color tab filter. So. If I was to show all my green tabs here, you can see they're in alphabetical order. Again, I just toggle this off, and now they're there in the order that they're in, in the workbook. So thanks again, Dan. I think that's a great suggestion. Another question that came in was, how could we have a keyboard shortcut similar to Alt-Tab uh, that would flip back and forth between two different worksheets in the workbook? And if you don't know Alt-Tab, if you hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and press the Tab key, that'll basically toggle between the different windows you have open uh, on your desktop. So you actually can do this with the flip back button. As I showed in the last video, the flip back button allows you to flip back and forth between two worksheets in your workbook. And you can add the flip back button up to the quick access toolbar. So I've added the flip back button in the second position of the quick access toolbar up here. So now if I just press Alt 2 on the keyboard, that'll press the flip back button for me. So if I'm on my sales by state sheet here, let's say I just click on this June customer revenue sheet and then I want to go back to that sales by state sheet, I just press Alt 2 on the keyboard and that'll take me back to sales by state. Press Alt 2 again, that'll take me back to June. So I can keep pressing Alt 2 and allow me to flip back and forth really quickly through each of those sheets. So in the next video, I'm going to show you some real world examples of how you can use tab control to automate some of your monthly processes and really save you a lot of time. I'm also going to answer your questions about tab hound and tab control. So please leave a comment below the video or shoot me an email with any questions or comments. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.